Welcome to StraightUpLearning.com. Today's topic is Microsoft Word, Converting Text to Tables. In Microsoft Word, you could convert text to a table by simply highlighting the text that you would like to convert. So I'm going to highlight this right now. And from a PC, you're going to want to click on Insert, go to Table, and choose Convert Text to Table. From an Apple computer, you can come up here to the Table option. And from Table, you can choose the option here that says Convert, and choose Convert Text to Table. When you choose these options, the following screen will appear. Regardless of whatever platform you're using, whether it's a PC platform or an Apple platform, the same identical screen will appear. Now when this screen comes up, you'll notice that by default it's going to include the number of columns your table should have and the number of rows. These number of columns represent the amount of times you press tab within your text. So I press tab six times here within my text under each particular line. So Microsoft is thinking I would need six columns. The number of rows is dependent on the many of times I hit enter. So I hit enter three times for each particular row so it gives me three rows. This is dependent based on your bottom portion of the screen here which says separate text at. Notice the tabs option is selected. You can choose separate separate text by paragraphs and that's if you were just hitting enter after each particular entry. If you were using commas you could choose that too. If you were using anything else, let's say like a semicolon or even a dash, you can click on the other option and then type whatever indicator that you're separating your text by within the box that I'm circling around right here to the right of the other option. So what I'm going to do by default is choose the settings that's here within this screen and then click on OK. And now we have converted our text to a table. The one thing though is because I converted my text to a table and it thought I needed six columns, I may need to do what's called a table cleanup. So to do that, I'm going to delete the blank cells that are in here. So while my cursor is within the table, I'm going to highlight some of my blank cells. So I'm going to take these two cells right here, which are to the right of product and dress, and I'm going to highlight them. And then I'm going to move up to my menu toolbar, which is going to give me some table properties. Regardless of whatever platform you're working in, whether it's PC or Apple, you are going to choose the table layout properties. From table layout, you're going to come here to delete and you're going to choose delete cells. The same screen will appear again regardless of what platform you're working with and with your delete cells you're going to choose the default to shift cells left. What this means is I'm going to delete my cells but the cells that are to the right of it are now going to move to the left which means my size cell is going to move over. So I'm going to click on OK and now I've deleted that cell. I'm actually going to delete the cell right next to it by doing the same thing and I'm going to do this continuously till I fix up my table. So I'm going to choose shift cells left again as a default, move it over. I'm going to come here underneath size, fix that too, delete that cell, shift cells left, move it over. And I think at this point you guys are probably getting the gist of what's going on. So I'm going to delete the cells here and move that over. And notice my thing is now, my table is actually kind of in sync now with product size and color. I do have these extra guys right here. What I could do here is come here under highlight that and I can just say, hey, I want to delete this particular column and now it's gone. And I'm going to do that too right here. So instead of me choosing cells, I'm now going to say I'm going to delete a column. Delete that column and now that's gone and I'm going to delete my last column and that's gone as well. So I successfully converted my text to a table and now I can add additional text without worrying about my you know me pressing tab and having all my text kind of misaligned. So if I press tab again I'm good to go by typing anything here that I would like. So let's say I type in pants and the size is 10, color red, and I am good to go. You may want to also just enhance your appearance of your tables maybe by resizing some columns. You could do that by putting your cursor in between two columns and just dragging it to the right to make it bigger for each one. And to make it smaller you can also just do the opposite and drag it to the left. So that is converting text to tables with Straight Up Learning. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. 
Thank you for attending. For additional courses or for a quick reference guide on this course, please visit us at straightuplearning.com or contact us at 704-909-6139.